When we try to shelter young people from all of life's challenges, we run the risk of weakening them in the long term, just like with food allergies. In a 2015 study, researchers followed a group of children from infancy to five. They found that many of the kids' immune systems never learned how to deal with them healthily without early and repeated exposure to peanuts, leading to severe allergies down the line. In 2014, student life was forever changed by a new safetyism culture that began to grow. The term refers to a growing culture of protection against challenges, difficulties, and feelings of discomfort. The word safety in this new context even expanded to include protection against challenging ideas, which means an increasingly small number of people can be exposed to something that makes them uncomfortable. Some people think that safetyism is a good thing, even though it means the opposite of what it says. Students should embrace their minds, but not fall prey to distortions that make the world seem more hostile than it is. The world isn't terrible, but it can be hard to accept when cognitive biases such as negativity bias can cloud your vision. Cognitive distortions occur when we interpret situations in a way that is not reality-based. These irrational interpretations make us feel as though the world is intrinsically wrong, preventing us from functioning at our best. However, when we take a sober look at those situations, we can see them for what they are, just problems. We all make snap judgments about the people we meet, and those judgments can hugely influence how we treat them. A study from Wharton's Adam Grant found that when a manager thinks a subordinate received an unfair promotion, it's likely because he misread the situation. The manager thought the candidate was a self-promoter, but it turned out that he was a quiet, humble person who simply responded to questions different than most people do. Politics are inherently controversial, but these days it seems like it's more important than ever to be an informed and engaged citizen. Still, politics can cause a rift between your friends and colleagues, and this is something that we continue to see today. Campus politics encourages harmful tribal thinking. Campus politics promote the formation of tribes, in which members of the same tribe share a distinct identity, set of customs, and language. These tribes promote an us-versus-them mentality, where people from other tribes are considered less worthy than those within the tribe. This causes students to develop political identities that don't necessarily reflect their ideologies. Intersectionality is a beautiful concept that encourages us to think about how different forms of oppression intersect and overlap. Intersectional representations of discrimination can help us confirm the experiences of those who feel marginalized by society. In its worst incarnations, however, intersectionality can create false divisions between people, encouraging members of privileged classes to think of themselves as oppressors and those with less societal power as innocent victims, vice versa. Politics have become more divisive than ever before, and as an increasing number of people find themselves entrenched in bickering, arguing, and outrage, the divide between Americans has only increased. This environment is trickling down to college campuses across the country, where protests and riots have begun to occur with greater frequency. With today's political climate filled with hardline stances and contrasting opinions, the last thing anyone wants to worry about is political fanatics on campus. Pew Research Center data shows that Republicans and Democrats have grown progressively further apart in their attitudes over the past 15 years. Today, Republicans and Democrats have never been more divided in their views on everything from immigration to guns to health care policy. As the election season gets underway, Americans are more divided than ever. This wasn't always the case. In fact, after the fall of the Soviet Union, there was a period of relative political calm. But with threats from abroad gone and new threats emerging within the country, that peace has given way to renewed animosity and resurgent political turmoil.